What's up guys? It's Brent back here. And we are going back into some more Slay the Spire Downfall. Library of Runa. I haven't figured out the title for that. Um, but we're only a few characters in. Ah, uh, dumb, dumb, dumb. We did the Watcher last time, which in my notes, I did not <laughs> write that. I still have as the defect. Um, but I know we played as the Watcher. We went kind of on a aggro, not getting really off the first floor kind of... Um, Rage-esque deck, which did not work as well as I wanted, but we're gonna be circling back around to the ironclad um, Which I think for me is the most Well-rounded of the characters. And I'm hoping we actually make a bit of distance this time uh, Let's accept that invitation and get right into the library So on discussion for today why we decide what we are doing Ugh. Before I start talking, I'll think I mean, the rare, choose a rare card sets the build, but man, I don't really, oh, there's two early shops. If this give us, gave us money, we could remove both those cards and be kind of on our way. Where are the leads at? Uh, but that is also like a four elite path. One, let's skip one and go this way. Two, three, mm, it's not bad. I can't, I'm not like opposed to it. It just like slows us down, or we could just upgrade a card, which would be Ash. It's not really exciting. Obtaining an additional starter relic is fun, but also you could definitely get something that doesn't do anything. Um, I'm actually gonna try this. And we got, yeah, bronze core. Uh, it does nothing for us. Unfortunate, um, but we actually can use that in a specific way when we get to a shop. Um, depending on how much money we have. Uh, we could buy the shopkeeper's rug and try to sell it off for some change. So I'm not excited for it, but I'm not opposed. Defend and strike here. Uh, but what I was going to say is um, I didn't hear any information on uh, playing RimWorld. Um, looks like people do prefer Slay the Spire um, as the game of choice, especially with the um, Library of Runa mod here. Um, so I'm taking that into notes. Um, and what I was thinking in, depending on your guys' opinion, I have a list of, I don't know, seven or eight games I'm thinking on, like, toying around with playing, because as fun as, I'm going to actually do the block here, because if not, I want to lay in the damage. Actually, might be able to, no, we're one damage, or I'm killing them. Um, depending on what we want to do, um, there could be other additional games added onto the channel. There's a lot I want to try out. I've had some recommendations from some other people. Um, and then, you know, just keep it diverse. Uh, I'm gonna go with Thunderclap here. Um, that being said, kind of what I'm looking at, and I'll get your guys' opinion. RimWorld, I'm gonna continue doing. What I might do is continue doing, and depending on what you guys say in the comments, uh, keep Slay the Spire as every two days. Instead of doing um, Slay the Spire, RimWorld, Slay the Spire. Instead of alternating them, I might just do that and then do other games as supplemental till, till I see how they do. Um, and just add a little bit more diversity to the channel without taking away the game you guys are enjoying the most. Um, let's look at the shop here and then I'll continue. Uh, True Grit would be great. I think, yeah, we want to buy this rug, 147. We might be able to do that in the next space. Might not be able to. We are not. In, uh, Snow White's Apple. Reject it, obtain a Cessor Relic. We can get, f I mean, I think I just want the, it's Malice, so. Uh, deal two damage all enemies. Yeah, this one's actually just pretty good. It's almost like the mercury hourglass Except it can get better. So we're gonna lose the six max for that. I like it And but we do not have enough here. Yep. Oh, it goes up to uh, um, Pleasure, I don't know if I've seen this autoplay. It went drain three thorns. If this card is exhausted lose 8 HP exhausted three And it auto plays so it incentivized a very short fight. I actually really like that. Upgrade okay. is just four thorns. That's not as good, but everything else is pretty nice about it. We're gonna keep going here. Um, but what the games I kind of have in mind? Oh, this is gross. Uh, two of these and then one of these. Um, is Rim Ideal. I'm gonna keep Rim Ideology. I'm gonna keep that going um, because I like Rim World, and I feel like I can play it very uh, casually and still have a lot of fun with it. Um, secondly will be, uh, I want to keep doing Play the Spire with the, uh, Library of Runa mods. Um, I'm enjoying them. 
and uh, you guys are also very much enjoy it. I, the only thing I might add is the other Library of Runa stuff. Uh, I figured I'd do another pass here um, while we kind of decide what we're doing um, and then continue going that way. Then you turn lose one HP and deal five. Combust is pretty cool. I've never really taken advantage of it. In Flame is also just a very good card. And also, these are all actually like all good options we could take. I think I'm gonna go in flame. Combust is good, but I feel like it sets. Oh, we can find a build that does it. We get six, so if a fight goes more than six turns, we're losing negatively. But it actually works really well with malice. Actually, screw it. I've never, I've never really used combust. Let's do it. I feel like there's a lot of AOE fights um, in this mod. I'm gonna go with this here. Um, as we can fight the elite, which is the is Arium, which if I get the game, I would probably understand better. Oh, this is a gross hand too. Um, I'm actually going to neglect the combust here to continue doing some damage in. Um, but like I said, Library of Runa is on the list. I don't know. I, I want to actually um, go through and decide if it's the kind of game I'd like. So I know if I'm going to enjoy it. Um, it looks like a turn-based kind of game. If anyone actually has some like um, ideas of like more of what it's about, I would actually love to... Um, Love to know that, just so I can kind of keep it in mind and really make an informed decision on if we want to play it. Because I'd hate to bring it and then we not actually um, do a lot with it. At the end of your turn, take one, deal five. So this is four. Technically, this should be lethal. Right? Yes. Okay. Um, I actually mapped that out pretty well. Okay. Uh, Emerald Key Metro is very good. And then we are going to go with... Yeah, we AOE matters a lot in this mod. But what I was saying is I'm going to kind of take a step back and decide if that's a kind of a game I want to play. I don't know anything really about it, so it's going to take me um, looking into it a bit more before I make a decision here. And then other games that I've had recommended or I've seen that have kind of interest me. Sorry, my dog is running up and down the stairs. Uh, like a bull in a china shop. Um is I want to, uh, the waterlogged update for uh, Don't Starve looks pretty good. I don't know if it would really, um, ooh, can I actually just kill him? I can't, we're gonna do full block here. Uh, I don't know if it's like that much different or adds a lot of variety, but I also just like the game and want to play it more. So could be an option. Um, I've taken a, a, a break from Don't Starve, letting them release some updates and stuff and to practice my own in my own free time. Uh, anger is actually emulates good though, but we got to cleave. The reason I'm thinking anger is because of metronome. It synergizes very well. And if you get something like an unceasing top, it'd be a fun little little thing. Uh, heavy blade also synergizes very well with metronome. I think we we'll go with the anger first, just to continue that way. And then the other one that was the other two that I've 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 played one of them on the channel, but there's a new mod for it that I think has been. Um, people have been interested in and I, I like modding so I'm not like too opposed to trying it I'm actually gonna do the languid here because a lot of damage uh, 10 here is fine I think I'm gonna go with the combust for the AoE the cleave here and we're going to try to knock actually let's bend off once we do lose the metronome but it's fine um, was darkest dungeon I don't think I've ever played through all of it we did a like started like a um, a very normal playthrough of it um, but they do have a mod out that I seen, which was called Black Reliquary. Um, it sounds pretty cool. I don't know how good it actually is, um, cause I've not played it yet, but that was something I was in thinking about trying out. And then the last one was Death Store, um, which was kind of informed me. It's like a Zelda-esque dungeon crawler in a way. I think that's kind of how it described me. Uh, I looked a little bit, the art style is very beautiful, uh, and it seems pretty fun. So those are the ones I've got on my list. I also, as of today, um, got the Oxygen Not Included, which is another game I think would be a lot of fun, um, but was the uh, Oxygen Not Included, which is a game also by Clay, who does uh, Don't Starve. So that has been one on my um, list for a while that I've been thinking about getting. And it was on sale, so I picked it up as another game. None of these seem like cards we want. I'll continue along here. But that's kind of my list currently that I'm looking at. 
Center. Whenever you play a card of a different type other than the previous this turn, gain one block. Not great for us, but the keys don't really do anything, I don't think, so. A different type. So you'd want to, like, alternate between powers, um, attacks, and skills. We'll take it. A little bit of extra free block is fine, but we, we're more incentivized to use the metronome than to use the spinner, I think. Don't leave, don't leave. Uh, 13 HP and you're doing 6. And I have no way to kill you. We're actually going to go really heavy here on this. And see if I can just get him knocked out. Oh, that stinks. Um, I was hoping for an AoE. I'll put the bash back on top. One of them's dead. Um, oh, they heal for 25. You have to kill them both. That's what these guys do. I remember this now. Uh, 6-6 six, six is 12. We will technically survive. Let's cleave. Oh, we got them both dead. I didn't realize. We were, we're at 8 strength. I missed that part, but I was more thinking of how we we're going to block through it. Uh, I don't want any of these either. Also, the, uh, right now with our HP so low, the Malice is doing a lot of damage, so wasn't really considering that. Gremlin food, actually super nice. Uh, will matter a lot for what we're doing right now. Ooh, I don't really like this. But yeah, that's kind of my list of games, is Slay Spire with the Library of Runa staying. Um, I just want your guys' opinion if you'd rather see it every two days and then the occasional other game thrown in, or if you want me to continue doing this like test out kind of uh try other game stuff because rimworld didn't do bad i mean but it didn't it's not as excited there's not as many likes on it uh, as what we've been doing here and i value what you guys think so that's the idea we're gonna combust which does lose our strength actually that was probably the wrong move um because we probably could have killed some of these with an aoe next turn um yeah we're my deal slay the spire then the next ones are, I'm going to look into the Library of Runa. I'm not going to make any promises on that one. It's not as much on my radar, but it does look pretty fun. Um, they'll start together. <clears throat> Waterlogged update specifically. I want to mess around with that and see how that does. Um, Darkest Dungeon, Black Reliquary. And Death Door, Oxygen not included. That's the full shebang of things I'm considering. Of course, you are going to be a problem. Actually, you're not going to be too much with the AOE I got going. Um, I'm actually going to do this a little awkwardly. Um, we're going to hit you for eight. Hit you for that. We're going to combust here and then defend. Um, we do lose our strength, but the AOE kills both of those. And then they should be easily cleaved down. Their sword boomerang not cleave. This thunderclap does a lot. Sword boomerang should hopefully clean cleaned up most of them. You're four. I can't defend, so what, we're gonna take four here. And oh, five. What's the bust? I think we're good here. We can't exhaust anything, but we should be able to do a ton of damage to her. One more turn. Four more here. Well, five more here. But the gifts are not gonna go off, which is the main point. Anger upgraded. There we go. Um, my story next three attacks play in a single turn. Gain an energy next turn. That's pretty nice. Uh, none of the... Well, whatever a card he's got now. Got the fight. Um, but yeah, that's my list of games I'm thinking. Um, hopefully maybe you guys have some ideas of stuff we could play. This shop is actually very nice. Oh my. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hurricane, can I get them both? They would, I need that's 350. I would need to, to net 100 between this, this. I can get rid of the spinner. And I can get rid of, I don't really want to get rid of the life spring. I mean, worst case scenario, we could fight the shopkeep and die uh, miserably. But I'm going to try it. Sell for 71. Then sell, can I still nostalgia? 36. And that's enough. Okay. Down to eight, but that was a big, big power play. Um, got rid of the stuff we need. Shuriken. Um, and we have the rug for the next couple shops. Assuming we survive. That was a good move. I want to rest and upgrade. Let's try it. Okay, they do have a rest. My, my fear was that they wouldn't have a rest option. I was hoping for the rest and upgrade 
and then I was hoping Gremlin Food would give me another upgrade. I, I was going for a little bit of a, a cheeky play there. Okay, um, we're gonna combust Thunder. Well, Thunderclap's not gonna matter. All right, I think we're gonna bash because Thunderclap's not gonna matter. AoE is great, but we cannot really use the vulnerability and that's kind of the benefit. I'd rather get more damage on one of these two. And I still haven't decided if it's better to go for the machine or if it's better to go for the manic employee to start with. Because he hits very hard, but the machine is the one who's buffing him. Then I'm going to go for the machine again. See how that works this time. And then I can let the AoE keep at, like doing stuff. Oh, these get upgraded. I don't know if that's good or bad. Take six, removing from the singing machine. It doesn't have anything in it. 11 coming in here though. Uh, it's going to try to take this one. Yeah, so I think I want to play those out. I think I'm going to block for five. It does kill our metronome, but it also um, gives us more block because of the spinner. So, I don't know if it's the best move or not. Oh my, good golly, Glorian. Um, you have that attack. Ugh, this is going to hurt. I don't know if we actually, I think we can power through it. Grinding gears, take six, remove a card. Oh, and it adds to stun the singing machine for one turn. That's the play. We have to play that, so let's put in. Um, we're going to play, no, we have to. I should have done it a little differently. I could have got one more point of block because of the spinner, because this is counted as a skill. We'll do that. They're stunned now. So we're gonna take 19, but ugh. We're still good though. Singing, they're, they're debuffed. They're taking damage. Um, machines attacking. We're gonna be fine. I'm actually gonna go for the weekend. Oh, I drank the energy. That was the wrong potion. Uh, I want to go for the weekend on you. Take a little bit less here. It's fine. We can. Sorry, clicked off. Uh, we can play the strikes out and be fine. We did waste two energy though, so there was no reason to take that potion. It's fine. Okay. Uh, thunderclap. Cleave. Sword boomerang. Oh, this. This is kind of what will make it or break it, because I think we're dead if we don't kill him. Yeah, we're exactly, exactly dead. Oh, actually, I think the spinner, no, we're exactly dead. Yep. We will try another round. I talked a lot at the beginning anyway. Um, yeah, I guess the weakness potion that the flop with the, um, with the energy potion kind of killed it for us. Um, but at the same time, I don't think we would have made it very far either way. Um, remove a card, random common relic. Remove two cards for 99 gold. I kind of like the two card removal to start with. Kind of interesting. Well, I mean, as interesting as it makes us consistent to build a build that would be interesting. Um, we also went for a lot of elites last time. And I think I'm going to do the same thing right through here. Get some early gold, and then we'll go through the question marks. But I think... I feel like the question marks in this mod are very good, but... At the same time, we're not adding new cards to the deck and stuff. Uh, bash. We'll go extend here. Let the vulnerability kill him next turn. Oh, we have less cards, so the enlightens are kind of more annoying. Then, let's go with the enlightenment for... Oh, it's just straight to our HP. That's fine, though. Take no damage from him. I gotta be more willing to play those when we're gonna lose health, so. Um, 13, I think. No, we can't do 20 damage. Bash here. Yeah. That's only 9. One more energy. How good it would have been. But, but. We might have had an enlightenment. I could have might have saved like 1 HP there. But he is dead this turn. It does not matter. Searing Blow. Is that a fun card to do to start with? We have a smaller deck. It's either that or close on. I think I'm gonna take it. I don't think I've done a really like super powerful searing blow build. So kind of kind of okay with that. Um defend. Uh I guess double double strike here. It's not that great. Ow. And one paralyzing, so we need to kill you, and then we can searing blow. Oh, it's not enough. So we won't actually. Go for the strike instead. The paralysis. Okay, so we should be able to. Uh, and then if we hit you, defend. 
Doesn't matter, I guess we could have bashed him, but there was no difference either way. Okay, you have 15, where we are paralyzed for one. Hit him, and then 12. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Ooh, limb from limb. I think it have changed the art on this. Or I've never seen it. 24 damage if this deals at least 30 unblocked damage. For fun, two and draw two cards. 32. So I guess it incentivizes if they are vulnerable, you will get two energy back and draw two cards. Let's try it. I mean, it's not too hard to provide vulnerability. Ooh, and this one's the, what's the special relic here? The seventh bullet. Whenever you play seven attacks, deal three damage. Oh, take three damage. This actually really helps two strength. Already kind of worked for our limb from limb. Or you can remove a card. No, we'll, we'll, we'll take the strength. We're, we're going for big cards, not a combo. So, uh, chest sucks. Um, okay, let's go with the bash here. Hit him. Also, this mimic really sucks, but it also incentivizes big attacks. Oh, we're one, one point short. That stinks. I mean, there's no reason to do it then. It's because we're weakened. If we weren't weakened, we would have that. Okay, um, since that's not going to work for us then, it's better to defend and play two attacks, I guess. Ugh. His attacks are just so big for this, like, one chest. It's And this ain't even, isn't even the greater mimic chest. 19 here, not really worth it. Actually, no, I'd rather play the defend, I think. Uh, bash defend here. Set up a limb from limb turn next turn. And we didn't get it, but that's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to play two of these treasures out. Not for the money, but just to get them out of the deck. Bash. Uh, I can't kill him now. Do another block. He's just... We were at 70-something health. And this is not supposed to be like a hard fight, but... He hurts. HP's below 50%. You are immune to debuffs from enemies. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, I don't really want any... Well... Headbutt could set up like some kind of we need more vulnerability to like take but you could technically headbutt limb from limb back to the top Play it like a couple times in a row Actually you wouldn't because you would headbutt limb from limb. It, it could work. I think in my brain it works uh, Strength gain and we're just gonna go for the the searing here He's dead. We have no aoe though, so oh But our shield makes us immune to those debuffs 26, 39, because they're all vulnerable themselves. I mean, might as well kill him. Excuse me? It has to deal that much. That was a misnomer on my part. If they actually don't take that much damage, it doesn't work. Which is kind of dumb, but... Like, I, I was just thinking of... They have to have that much health, so it actually doesn't work as well in a... Um... Let me get the block card. Uh, in like smaller enemy fights where they don't have any HP. It'd work here. Uh, true grit away the... Oh, it's, it's still random. I wanted the searing, but that's fine. I will bash them. Um, and we're going to take a sizable amount unless I can do something about it. Uh, Iron Wave does do something about it. Alright. They'll take a, uh, 9. Um, limb from Limb here is 39, but is it actually going to do it because of her ability? It did. So that did work. Um, and then I'm going to block for 10 here. Makes it worth it. All right. We could, with a good hand, we could kill him. Yep. 20, actually we can't here. 26. Oh, no, that, just, that does just kill him. I thought they had 29. Preserved Insect is a great relic. Should make these elites a little easier. Shockwave. There we go. The only, the only downside I see with what we're the way we're doing this is... Um, don't use washers. Very good. Um, is we have a lot of high cost cards. We're gonna have to continue. We're gonna have to find an energy relic, or we're just in trouble. And honestly, now the searing blow doesn't really make sense for the deck. I'm actually gonna remove it. I would rather get get off the limb from limb, um, in the shockwave and the bash incentivizes that, along with the headbutt. So I'd rather put the upgrades in the shockwave and bash than into the searing blow. It was a good idea in theory, but 
I think it's going to slow us down if we have it. Um, shockwave here. Pretty good. Doing nine. We'll defend a little bit. We need to get our HP up a little higher if possible. Uh, limb from limb. That is 39. Refund some. Um, I'm, I'd rather true grit. Got to defend. That's fine. Well, oh, they're just dead. Didn't count. Uh, battle trance is great. Upgrade to four. Yeah. Is there any other one? Play at the top guard of your draw pile and exhaust it. As much as that would be great for playing like a shockwave or something, I think I'd rather battle trance here. And I want to go up this question mark path and avoid, well, or I could upgrade two cards. No, let's go question marks. Keep it a little, keep it a little risky. A uh, 10 foot pole, take less damage outside of combat, which is great. I also thought that used to tell you if a, a chest was a mimic. I guess then you could skip it. Um, 16 damage here. Sucks. Um, we're going to block. And, and we're going to punch the one with the vulnerability. I mean the region. Okay. We have no AoE really. Okay. Shockwave here is great. I actually don't want a battle trance. Because that's going to... Why did I take damage? Oh, that was from the, the seventh seal. I was like, why did I, I get hurt? Because <laughs> our HP is so low anyway. That was uh, not very good. Uh, I, I'm trying to do the limb from limb here. Okay. But it has to do 30 unblocked. And they don't have 30 HP. It will kill one though. So then I can block a little easier. I'm going to have to use the energy potion. Or I could kill this one and just take the four. That. Oh, oh yeah, they just come back though. Crap. Yeah, this is not a fight we are prepared for. Six coming in, take one off, uh, bash them. We have no AOE. So our whole plan, like I can hit this one and kill them. Yeah, I need to hit this one. Ref yep, refund two. Oh, they're not vulnerable. Grapple. Um, battle trance. I didn't get what I needed. Oh, that sucks a lot. Um, headbutt. Something on top. Uh, strike. That one's dead. Screw grit. Hit the strike. Take three here. But this one's just going to come back. I really need to kill, but I should have, I guess, not defended and limb from limb. No, it wouldn't have mattered, though. Oh, man. A rough one. Yeah, because I can't not defend. I'm going to have to drink this. Defend. Um, I need to see if I can hit you. Defend again. Oh, I should have hit them. I need, it needs to be unblocked. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... This is a toughie. Limb from limb will kill you. 26. No, it won't. I got to double block here. Headbutt. Get the... The fin back to the top, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way I can win this fight. This one needs to heal a little faster. Alright. Battle trance. Didn't get what I needed here. So I have to hit them. Seven. Twelve, you're dead. But you're gonna come back. Then you're gonna be too strong. I can't vulnerable you. We're in like a weird, like, awkward stalemate here. And they're doing too much damage to me this turn. I need to blow one of them up, but then I can't defend. Yeah. They have they have bested me in, in Mortal Kombat. I can do that. I can hit one of them, but I was not getting out of that fight. Oh, once more. Not going out like that. That's a fun deck too. I like the limb from limb, um, but that's what I was saying on the first kind of like run through that the AOE is incredibly important in this uh, mod because like that one, that is not a a balanced real fight, but it is, but isn't because they heal so much. You can never like whittle them down all at the same time, especially on a first floor. It seemed a little rough, um, but maybe you guys think a little differently. A random rare relic, random rare relic. 
We'll remove the curse here. Take that. Ooh, tungsten rod. That's actually very nice. Get the butterflies here to start with. Um, just do a triple, triple poke to start with. And give them out of here. We're gonna have the paralysis. We should be, yeah, have a lot of defense this turn. So we'll just cut the paralysis off and then continue. We should be able to kill this one that's coming up turn with two strikes. Or we could do, oh my. What's the curse that we got? I didn't even look. Uh, rest of bread, draw one, add three curses to your. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> um, we're gonna do two here, get this one dead, and then we'll strike this one. But, we're gonna remove it, so. As long as they're not permanently added to my draw pile, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> let's try Searing Blow again. We didn't do it last time. Uh, obtain a trap. Uh, 50 50. Took 31. Medical manual, first status drawn. Uh, each turn exhausted. That's not bad. I don't really want the perfected. Flash is fine. I want to go with a small deck anyway with attacks, so. Okay. Get this stupid restless dread out of here. Um, nothing else here is great. I'm not too sad to lose any of these either. Uh, I don't really want to add a ton more cards whenever a card is exhausted. If there's cards that let me exhaust, Havoc, but I don't want to exhaust my, um, Searing Blow, because that would take the advantage out. We want to hit, so if I go up this way, boom, question mark, yeah, because I want rest and question marks here, so I think we'll skip this first elite here. Um, we've done the elite here. Fine. Got good pathways. Random monster. Let's take the random event. I don't know if we've done this. It's just a chest with a mimic. And this mimic's kind of what messed us up last time. Because you can't not hit them, but... Oh, man. Bash. I mean, we're just going to go through the motions here and hopefully we can kill him off quicker than he can put coins in our pile. Um... Yeah, I guess it's worth the defense to play the flash. Oh, steering blow. Come on. Oh, 18 here. This is where you kind of need to kill him. But I can't. So is it worth playing searing? Yeah, I guess searing defense. And he knocks. Well, tungsten, tungsten rods a lot there. And um, we got him on the crackback. Top hat. If your hand is full when drawing a card, draw X cards next turn instead. Not really what I want. This was what I was wanting the first time. It was rupture. The rupture combust combo. Oh, attack to one this turn. Leading strike. Be fun with a perfected strike build. Reduce the cost of an attack in your hand to zero this turn. So it makes an attack free so you can play it. Only does four damage though. We'll try it. I've never done it, but it, it works with the searing strike, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's do... Well, leading strike does not matter here. We're actually going to do triple defend, and then we're going to clash. It does more damage. Okay. Uh, 13, you're dead. Take 8 here, but not much I could have done about it. We have no... We don't have a lot of defense. Uh, we're going to double defend. Like... One Searing Blow should end this, or one Clash. Searing Blow, thank you. We're, we're gaining we're gaining HP at a, at a very slow rate. I'm going to take one copy of Ghostly Armor. Uh, it synergizes better, I think, with Clash than some of the other ones. We want to go here. We're going to do the Searing Blow build. We need to start upgrading it. Four damage each time, so... Can't neglect it. Hello, my friend. Uh, defend, defend. Uh, it's gonna make it cost one. There's no reason to play it. So it's actually Clash Strike. Trying to be better about ordering my cards correctly. Um, 13 coming in. Uh, we'll do the Bash and the single defend and hope for a quick and swift kill next turn. Searing Blow will do it. I don't need another Leading Strike and I don't need a Twin Strike. Uh, the plan was to go this way. Get this elite, rest, bonfire. But I could actually get 
two more rest and the bonfire still. That's actually the better one. And I would rather fight uh, all Rin than the other one. So, turn glow here. And then we'll go with the defense. Okay. Um, defend. Flash. Strike. Strike. You gotta play through all our cards anyway, so. And of course, the turn I get the ghostly armor. Leading strike. Bash. Strike. That was kind of the idea. Didn't play the ghostly armor, but I'm hoping just to knock her out. Uh, 24. And then defend. Uh, defense not gonna do it. What's the weakness bring her down to? 15. Just barely, because I this is only gonna do four damage. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah, take one less of 10. Okay, but we're good here. I right, I need a double defense. All right, <laughs> 10 flute. You're gonna choose one card in your deck. You start your your next one with that card in your deck. Eh. Uh, Applied Decrepit. No. You also have three cards, draw one card for each. Add a Void to your discard for now. I mean, I should actually just take the Tin Flute even if I don't use it. Oh, I was really paranoid that that was going to be a Mimic. Um, I have one more fight. Let's go for the rest here. I shouldn't be too, like, upset to try to rest sometimes. And the time you don't have an AOE. Ah. That'll be a sucky one. Okay. Let's start knocking them down. Getting a clash and a searing blow, we actually can knock these out pretty quickly. But this uh, paralysis is going to make this not fun. Um, defending here. Okay. Yeah, these do zero currently. Okay, once you do six. Oh, it goes down after one. Okay. That one's dead. We need to kill another one. And we got a point of dex. Okay. Our relic setup this time is not as good. But our deck is performing pretty well. Um, ghostly armor here is fine. I don't really want to bash. Well, I guess it's better than doing nothing. This will set up. Let's do one of these higher, inner, uh, higher HP ones. Because it will set up maybe an easier kill on them. Or like less card kill. Okay. One damage. Uh, you do two. Ugh. Gross. Uh, nine here. Not enough. I mean, we're definitely gonna play it. I guess I should have vulnerability this one then. One short. That's fine. I feel like we've had that a lot. It was just like one energy short. Hugs and Rod helped a lot on that one though. And the leading strike here. Um, I, mean, I, I can't kill you. Gotta waste two anyway. Now we get the point of dex. Paralysis. Okay. Double defend. You are dead. And you are clashed. Alright, not too bad. Six healing, two. For each card you've exhausted now. Not what we need. Alright, here's what we need to be doing. Steering blow. 21 damage now. Alright, and then... We're gonna do two more fights here, which hopefully we can heal. You guys are not my friends. Um, ghostly armor we need to keep. Let's split the damage over them. Ow. Nice and run, okay. Uh, I have the Like, very excited to attack me this time. All right. <laughs> Um, leading strike's gonna help. So we're gonna leading strike you. Same blow became one. You're dead. Flash. Uh, got but it wasn't enough. Oh, wait. Why'd they only heal? Rise turn. Oh, I read that wrong. So you gotta whittle them both down at the same rate. It's okay. Different mechanics. So they'll get 12. So we need to actually just defend again. It doesn't help to hit them. So this is like to prevent like big like punch punch decks. You're dead. And you are down to two. So now this one will revive at two. Should be two strikes to kill them all four. Strike. Strike. 
made it through it. 16 HP. Um, there's Lim from Lim again, but not not the deck we're playing. Uh, I still want this campfire. Happy Teddy Bear. Um, whenever a creature is fully or partially blocked, damage the game's one strength. Okay. Go ahead. Start with the vulnerability. Hopefully, we'll have a very efficient next turn. Ghostly armor is great to see here. We're gonna go with two blocks. Why did you gain two strength? I missed something there. Um, leading strike. There we go. Defend. This should be it, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Boss fight, 18 HP. We've got this. Another ghostly armor is not bad. Draw a status or curse now. I'm just gonna take one more of these. Oh, rest and... Oh, yes. Rest and random. Yeah. Ghostly armor. I'm fine with that. It doesn't fix our um, searing smite, but our searing blow. Eight coming to start with. We can do this very well. Defend here. Bash. I don't think we've beat this mu this musician here. Um, I can't. Three zero cost cards. I'm going to take a little bit here. Yeah, they. we got to play off these chair cards. That's kind of their whole stick, if I remember right. I'm also going to drink this here. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, weight training. Go ahead. Defend. At the end of your turn, retain one card. It costs one less energy next turn. Ready to action. We're also going to offer it here. Ghostly armor. Searing blow. Bloodletting. I want to play a bunch of attacks. To get the kunai going. Then we're going to play another strike. We also want, want to get as much damage. Retain to defend. That's fine. It'll be zero. Okay. The silent orchestra. And I really like this because I'm a band nerd. So I like this art. It's very pretty. And I like the um, music note theme. Uh, 19 here. I mean, yeah. Seems like the best move. Why are we taking two at the end of the turn? Fervent Aberration. Start your turn, draw one card. And then do your turn, take two damage. Oh, I guess that is a, a uh, effect that they put on us. Uh, ghostly armor here is fine. Retain a random... When retained, a random energy gain strength. And it retains itself. Uh, I don't want that. And I think I'm going to go with the bloodletting here. Uh, and it's better to play all three of these. I still need to upgrade that leading strike. And make it much better. Avoid fourth movement. I don't know when to get to like a certain level of movement and we just die. It's the other thing I'm not completely convinced about. Um, we're going to bash. 28 is a lot. But we will survive. All right. Uh, retain a strike. But now, okay, so he goes through all those and then repeats it. Fourth chair now. Okay. I kind of have a a grasp on it. Two of these. Bloodletting. Yep. The tungsten rod has been very kind about that. Uh, leading strike. Yep. Searing glow. Strike. And strike. We're gaining plenty of decks. He's down to 22. Curtain close. Oh, he, he healed. I thought that was just the end of the fight. I was very, very scared for a second. Uh, he added two chairs, though. I'm just actually going to burn that one. Uh, game one for our one week. It's alternating each time, so this time it's one week. That's fine. Not really what I wanted, but I need to get these chairs. And he's starting the movement again. But all these are now in my deck. Okay. So get out the third chair. Ghostly armor. Ready to action. Bloodletting. Ghostly armor when you get the damage on. Okay. Plenty of block. Alright, uh, yeah, we need to do 26 before he can kill us. Conductor. I don't know what that one does. I haven't seen it. I want to, re I want to read out the card. Unplay when retain, increase the cost of all performance cards in hand by one. If all four performer cards are in there, trigger their effects again. Ooh, that is nasty. Uh, second chair, defend. I think we can probably finish this here 12 14 um i think i go snack oil yep searing blow for 17 you're dead Ooh -hoo, barely eked it out there but we got it um double tap that's uh black star is i enjoy black star a lot we're gonna go elite heavy uh continue our ascent got a little bit going right here and we will see 
Okay, we want elites. Two. Oh, and there's a bunch of rest right here. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Actually, and the the fire. And it's a pretty elite heavy pass. We need to get to here. We'll go in early shop. We have 218. So we'll, we'll go early shop and then cut across. And I, I think I do want to upgrade leading strike next. Um, just to make it more usable. It's a fun card, but it, it's not doing as much as it can. Uh, we are paralyzed, of course. Yeah, one energy would make a lot of difference here. Um, hit you. I guess you double tap. A strike? Actually, I'm going to double tap the end and try to play something twice next. Oh, it's for the turn. That was my bad. Alright, they're gaining a lot of strength. Ghostly armor here. Um, defend. Play the clash. Clash. Strike. We need to get one of these down. Are we just dead here? No. Tungsten rods really helping, but they are not holding back at all. First, first room in the first floor, the next floor. And the paralysis, my, my guys. I'm going to, yeah, 16, another 27. Uh, I mean, 27 minus 3, so 24. Okay. I can't, yeah, I can't kill them as fast as they're hitting me. A strike. 20, yeah, I'm dead. We are just doomed. Yep, there goes the block. They healed. 11, another 16. Wow. That was, that was rough. Um, we did the tin flute. I don't know how you're supposed to beat those without AOE. I mean, that's, I guess, one of those things you have to commit, but they healed you, paralyzed you, and did multiple attacks for 10. That sucks. Because I was actually, like, getting our groove. But that is going to be the third one, and um, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, if you have opinions on what we talked about at the beginning of the episode, Please let me know. I love the comments and I like taking um, what you guys think into consideration when picking what games we're playing. Um, again, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.